Uh, pretty good shape, good buck knife. Packaging from an uh, auction I won. Some new knives. Uh, not new, but used. Uh, see, was it a little knife lot? See how I made out? Because uh, I paid kind of decent money for this one. I forget what it was, but I want to get all of them. We get a few knives in here. Oh boy. So. Wrap in bubble wrap. See if that's a good, uh, good angle. Leather case, kind of cheap leather. Yeah, just Pakistani, Pakistan cheap nice knife. But this has got a little, little leather case. There's a leather case doesn't seem that bad. Uh, what's this one, oh, Craftsman, old uh, Craftsman knife. I don't know if I've seen. Not too bad, not too bad a shape. A little rust to it. Easily clean that up. These ones, yeah, stainless china. I kind of like these ones though. These are good little beater knives to keep around. Another little one. You never know with these ones though. They could be, this one looks like it's higher quality. Uh, can't tell, but. Oh yeah. Coast Cutlery. But, Hong Kong. I mean, Definitely you can tell this one's a little higher quality just by the feel, the finish is a little different. Coast cutlery, that's kind of cool though. I like that uh, 
like that blade. Here we go. This is a nice little little mini knife. Uh, I don't know. See these auctions, you can't see what they are. Oh man. Can't read it. This is stainless. Stainless. Oh man. Can't quite read it. It's so small. Pretty cool, not bad shape. Looks like it's bone. Be careful of that one. Uh, this is a, looks like a cheapo. Maybe. I mean, it's definitely not. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's got some weird symbol on the blade. Uh, I don't know if you can see there's like just a weird marking on it. It's got a little flower design. I don't know what uh what that is. Not the Do a little research. I don't know how to even close this fucking thing. Because it's just a slip. Kind of a cool knife. I mean, it's not, uh, not worth much. Uh, not sure what we got. This electrician's knife. Klein, maybe. bad shape might have to clean some of these up before I can even read the uh, what they are I want to say it says Klein in sons, but I could be wrong. It says, uh, damn, something in sons. Could be Klein. I've seen a few Klein like these. Not sure though. Not a bad knife. Pretty uh looks like it's pretty good quality. Let's pull out a little cheap little Saunders McAfee Insurance. Arizona. Little fucking razor knife. Kinda cool. Made in the USA. C, like CIT razor knife. It's actually pretty cool. I really like that. It's a little delicate though. So I've been like trying to avoid the ones that I think are actually. Oh shit, this is a buck knife, <laughs> damn, I didn't know that, 
Buck three one seven. Wow, that's a big fucking buck knife. And uh remember this one being in here. So there it's in pretty good shape too. Uh so this has to be pre uh pre eighties. Cause it's got the them have a date marker. Uh, oops. Like uh, book knives. I mean, I'm not a huge buck knife kind of guy, but they are. I can't get this one out. Get the big one out. Ow, I'm breaking my fingernail. I don't know what's up with this if it's like sticky. A little sticky. I got these at like, you know, on an auction. So you never know. I might need a little lube to get that fucking thing open. Uh, let's see what else we got. This one was... I wasn't sure what this one was in the auction. I saw a picture of it. Uh, orange. No company on it that's visible. Um, but what do we got? This was like recently sharpened. Not very well, but uh Damn I can't something Hood Germany A German knife made in Germany Can't read the name some weird German name Good, pretty good condition. Definitely old. Oh, here's the bad part. Fucking broken blade over here. It's the thing on these auctions. They don't friggin' they don't show you the broken part all the time. But might still be worth something. Uh, little old timer. Fucking broken tip though. That's nice. Uh, Schrade old timer. This one's pretty old too. Uh, other parts aren't bad. Yeah, I'll see if I can get some more of these and restore them. I don't know if you can do that. Oh, what is this? It's been some German guy that donated these. Landstall Falls in German. Yeah, made in Germany. Little uh, German souvenir knife. It's actually pretty cool. Little patina, not bad shape. It's actually in really good shape for. These usually break the plastic on these. Someone actually uses them. Plastic gets fucking cracked. It's good, pretty good shape. And, uh, Farmer's Union Elevator Co. Little. Uh, Imperial? No. What the fuck is that? Something. Ambassador. Made in the USA. Can't read that fucking name. Magnifying glass. Just 
starts with an A. It looks like Ambassador. I haven't actually heard of them. Pretty good shape. Definitely fairly old. GOA Hormel and Co. Quality dry sausage. This looks like a sausage cutter, all right. <laughs> uh, Shrade. It's a Shrade. Stainless steel. It's actually in really good shape. Kind of cool. It might stay in my collection. Oh, yeah, that's smooth. That's nice. A nice knife. First one of those that I got. Oh, missing a side piece on this one. Is this one Pakistani? Yep. Some shit Pakistani knife. Fucking imitation. A little guy. Oh, this one's a little, a little dinged up. A little cracked, but... See, this is what I was talking about on the... You get little cracks in them. Plastic ones like this, if they sit in people's pockets. Uh, actually Japan, Japanese knife, saber, Japan, stainless steel, uh, not bad, kind of cool. Uh, save some of these other ones. Old time Barlow. No, these ones are uh, not too uh, not too uh, rare, but Ulster USA, not bad shape. I don't know how old these uh, this one is. Uh, definitely, I mean, some some good action to it. It's not it seems. Doesn't seem like old old. That's old old. It was like left in a drawer or something. Not really used. And, uh, here, I'm gonna get to some of the uh, ones I was really looking forward to. More buck knives. Small buck knife. Book three oh nine. This one's shiny. Uh. Not sure what year this is, but it does have a year marker. So it's fairly new. In good shape. Oh, here we go. Another uh, mini knife. Look at the size of this fucking thing. It's a knife. That is a knife. I don't even want to open it, I'm afraid to fucking, it's going to break. I feel like this is another Japanese thing, those Japanese, like, they're tiny little, little things. Yeah, I'm not going to open that. What do we got? This is, uh, I don't know, missing the symbol if it is a buck knife. Yeah, it is a buck knife. Uh, this would be a pre... 70s buck also this might even be a uh, 60s because there's no model number on it it was a 1960s ish pre 70s 72 or earlier no model number uh, i think it's a lancer though too bad the buck uh, logo came out pretty good shape too Not a bad haul for the for an auction. Another another buck knife. Buck three oh three. This is a this is also an older one. This has to be a pre eighties. This is no no date marker on it. Uh, just has the model number and the buck. A bit of pocket lint. It's uh, 
good shape too. And, oh, here we go, a Ranger. These are like, I don't know what their relation to Buck is, but these guys are uh, it's pretty much the same friggin' thing as a Buck knife. Um, this one's old, this one's definitely old. I don't know how old though. A lot of patina on that. Uh, patent number. So, as far as I can read, it just says Ranger. Made in USA. Might be worth something too. Not a bad knife haul. I mean, what do I got? So far, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I pretty much paid like five bucks or less per knife for this lot. Got a sharp. I don't know if this is actually a sharp knife or not, but uh, that is an old one too. Wow, it's like perfect. But it says China on it. So I'm guessing that's not really a sharp knife, uh, but this, this is, I mean, it could be, I don't know what sharp is, this is like, this feels like quality, like this is actually solid, like way different feel than this cheap Pakistani one, like this knife probably weighs the same same size this knife weighs like double what this one does so this might i don't know maybe this is a sharp i don't know anything about sharp but nice leather pouch i don't know so now we got some uh some Cool, weird knives that were in here. Got this one on the chain. Uh, it's like it's, this one's just a stainless steel china knife. Probably fucking, I don't know. Just kind of looks cool though. Probably sell it for 10 bucks. Got a bottle opener on it. Put it, you know, keep this when you're drunk. Drinking. Bottle opener knife. Attach it to your, you know, fucking wallet or something. And some goldy looking one. Pretty sure that's fake. Uh Tough to tell though. Tough to inspect this one a little more. Feels like a plastic ring. Uh, whatever this is though, it was made in the USA. Uh, there is no name on it though. So, I don't know if it's gold plated or what, but. This was made in the USA. I don't see any other markings on it. Kind of cool. And last but not least, one more buck knife. A lot of buck knives in this. Uh, buck. <clears throat> this one's a 303. Another pre date. Not bad shape, a little used, but not terrible. Uh, pretty good shape, good buck knife. And, uh,. So the last of them, I think, yeah, so, 
Here we go. The good old Goodwill haul. Nice unboxing video. Couple to keep in the collection.